Okay, we're going to talk about two of the appliances here. You see a microwave over here. The microwave only works if you're plugged into an AC outlet. Okay, it won't work off the battery. It takes too much, uh, too much juice. Also, uh, when you're going to use this, the water heater and the microwave, if they're both set on electric use as opposed to gas, you can only use one at a time. So there's a switch over here on the wall. If you want to use the microwave, Okay, the switch should be down. If you want to use the electric water heater, you flip it up. But you can't do both at the same time. Okay? The microwave does work okay. Time, 10 seconds, start, and it works just fine. 8765431, we'll just hit clear. Okay? So the microwave works fine again, but can't use that with, uh, with the electric heater. The other thing we're going to do is look at the refrigerator. This is moderately simple, but the problem is that uh, uh, it's hard to get it going. Once it gets going, it will work fine on its own. There's a simple off-on button, off button at the top that will turn this on, but this refrigerator will work either by electricity or by gas. And you can set it up uh, whichever way you want. Okay, over here, you see an on-off button. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, it tells us that we're at uh, the kind of the medium coolness here. And the yellow light here, or green light, whichever it is, is set on gas. Okay, so if you've turned your gas on, this will come on, and it'll start uh, cooling using the gas in, the, in your tanks. If you want to use the electricity instead, we happen to be hooked up to electricity right now. We just press the uh, auto button here, and it'll go over to AC, which means, you know, alternating current. So you can go back and forth between which one you want, gas or AC. In either case, it takes a long time to cool this, something like two-thirds of a day. Okay, It takes longer with gas than with AC. So if you are hooked up to electricity, hit this button so that it goes over to AC, and it'll cool up a little bit better. This thing works by cooling in the freezer first and then dropping the cool air down. So if you've got some meats or things that you need cool, put them right in the freezer first, even if ultimately you want them to go in the, in the freezer. I mean, in, in the regular refridge. We've had this running since yesterday. We've just had some nice cool water. You've got plenty of room for the weekend uh, at the unit here, in the unit here, and plenty of space. If you're only going to be here for a short period of time, like an afternoon, you really should just bring a cooler with ice in it, because it's just not worth the time it takes to cool this down. If you're going to stay for two or three days, then this thing is perfect here.